In today's video, I'm going to be showing you three skills that you could use to make money from software engineering and tech even without getting a proper tech job like many people would imagine you need to get. Hi guys, it's your boy Spill Code bringing you great content every single time and welcome to my video. Let's get started. So I just want to clarify that these three skills I'll talk about now are things that I have personally tried out. I've tried out two of them and I have people who have tried out the remaining one. I've contributed to trying out the remaining one of them I'm going to talk about. And I've seen that these three things really work and could in the long term even help you get a proper tech job if that is what you're into. Number one thing is technical writing. So as you all know, technical writing is a, is, is a very important skill because on one end it could help you make money on the other end it could help you understand concepts better and even introduce you to new things you were using before you started technical writing so i've had situations where i had to write an article for a company where i i didn't quite know that thing very much but i had to go do deep research on it to learn it because now i have to teach it to people i've also had situations where it wasn't that i uh, didn't know it but i knew it but I couldn't teach it. So I needed to learn what I didn't know about it that was making me not being able to teach it at that point. Technical writing is great because it helps you build your mindset better and at the same time it could help you make money. One tip I'll give you if you want to begin technical writing is that it always helps to have other stuff that you've written before you apply to a paid platform or something. Most paid platform would often request that they see your previous work. And how do you get previous work if you hadn't written, if you haven't written, let's say something for free before. So you could get started with blogs like Hashnode, uh, Medium, and I, I found Hashnode to be a great tool because it just gives you everything you need and a community around your blog to help you succeed so go ahead to try out technical writing today it doesn't just give you money but it also exposes you to a lot of people a lot of people who read your article and other things like that the number two thing i would like to mention is making templates and selling them so let's say you're a software engineer you're a web developer and you've been able to make uh, several templates that you could sell or you've not been able to make but you know you can make those type of templates my advice to you would be that you don't have a proper job yet but you could make these templates and advertise them to businesses who would be using those kind of things if you're an app developer you could make app templates too and sell to companies who would need them so that way you could generate income for yourself while you do that in the description box i'm going to see if i can find links to places you could place your templates to and then they help you market it and sell it but it's really worth checking out and it's a really important skill i've seen people in tech also use to generate uh, substantial revenue the number three thing i would like to mention is holding paid classes now paid classes are great because you don't just get to you know teach people but you get to teach people while also interacting with them probably audibly or through a video so this is ideal for people who are comfortable with teaching other people and all of that i remember back in 2019 when i started or when i held my first speed class on web development before then i've been doing free classes but i decided that oh i could make some money out of this and i'll probably just make it paid so i made it paid and i saw some people got more serious about it some people signed up and i was able to make money for myself even while you know even while i kept learning and while i didn't have like a proper tech job pro at the moment so holding paid classes is worth it it helps you learn better like technical writing and all of that kind of thing so you should check it out and you know maybe you could start your paid class in the next one month i would advise you though that when you want to hold paid classes people need to kind of know that you're able to do what you claim to do and then you need to show that it could be that you've written an article beforehand and people have known you through that but it could be that you've organized free classes so if you want to hold paid classes my pro tip for you which is something i did is to organize free classes first show people that you're able to teach maybe free classes could be like when they say the tip in the iceberg and that kind of stuff but 
basically show people that you're able to teach show people that you're able to do what you claim to do in the free class and it's now sort of like if you could get this in a free class imagine what more you could get in the paid class and then be of value don't just be someone that wants to uh, rip people off of their money actually be someone that is able to teach them so if you're not comfortable with your level of experience yet or you feel like you cannot explain the topics properly uh, maybe you should just keep learning and stick to the other two above since you have more time to research but if you feel like it's a challenge you would love to take and you know that you will deliver on that remember everyone is not perfect on their first try of anything so you will still give it a try through free classes and all of that and uh, get people interested the thing with these skills is that even if you want to get a proper job in the future everything i've just mentioned which you could use to make money while going there could help you to secure a better role in the future or things like that so let's say you've been able to make themes and sell it to companies or to individuals this could also reflect on your resume like hey i haven't had a proper job yet but i've been able to sell this theme here sell this one here and do this let's say you write articles and articles are really a lovely way i've seen people contact me for job opportunities just because they read my article or they feel like i am competent for the role because they've seen how well i write and you know they've read my content and they kind of like it so doing these things at the end of the day would make you seem experienced and would make you seem like someone that has footing in the industry sort of so it's not just about making the money at the end of the day but you're making money while you're also building experience for yourself there's this popular thing in the tech industry where they say uh you cannot get the role because you don't have experience but how do i get the experience when you don't give me the role but you can't get the role because you don't have experience so it's kind of like a loop and to go out of this most times you need to think outside the box and do other things even before you start applying for jobs if you're in this video and you have not smashed the like button by now or you've not subscribed to my channel please i beg you <laughs> subscribe to my channel please and smash the like button uh i think youtube uses this to you know their algorithm to show it to the rest of the people i couldn't believe i'll be at this point saying algorithm but yeah they use it to show the video to other people so smash the like button hit the notification bell i hope i'm getting where i'm pointing yeah and follow me